about uh, uh, newer trucks, the older engines getting, you know, not as good as fuel mileage as the newer engines. And the uh, guy heard the age old, uh, heard the, the old time saying, or the old time, uh, I just woke up here, you got to give me a second, but uh, uh, it's the old thing about all oh, the, the, the newer trucks get enough fuel mileage that it'll make the truck payment. Well, that it sounds good. When you pencil out the numbers over a stretch, you might get close, but in reality, it doesn't really work that way. Uh, you know, a lot of guys will take a snapshot of their fuel mileage, and uh, this tank I got, you know, 6.9, and this tank I got, you know, 6. Point. When you take a fuel mileage of a truck, you have to average that out over at least a month, a minimum of month, because there's so many different variables that go into fuel mileage. You know, the, the hills that you're pulling, the loads you're pulling, the hell, even the temperature and the air pressure, or barometric pressure. The, there's so many things that go into fuel mileage. But uh, in my experience, I've I've owned, the newest truck I've ever owned is the Beast, 2013. But I have uh, rented while you know the Beast was in the shop. I have rented newer trucks uh, from my company and you know monitored their fuel mileage just to see you know is the new tech better than the old tech. And uh, you know of course I have several people that I know out here, fellow uh, owner operators that have newer trucks and they're not getting any better fuel mileage than I do with the Beast with a 23 year old engine. Uh, you know, they're on a good day. They might see 6.9, 7.1 out of those new trucks. You know, and that's that's getting her down the road. You know, not not letting any grass grow. And with the beast, I'm doing between 6.5 to 6.7. So I mean, are they doing better than me? Yeah, two tenths of a mile. But you know, the the maintenance cost alone of those new engines, the the, the, the beast beats them tenfold. I mean. Literally, I spend about 10% as much as they do maintaining this 23-year-old Cummins than they do maintaining those new engines. You know, cleaning the filters and sensors, and every time the dash lights up, they're headed to the shop and plugging in that computer at $130 an hour. Yeah, they just, I mean, if, if you want to get a newer truck, all you know, more power to you. Go get you a new truck. You know, everybody, everybody feels nice driving a new vehicle, you know. But if you're out here to maximize your profits, minimize your overhead, minimize your operating costs, get you an old truck. Their old trucks are cheaper to keep up with, cheaper to maintain. The parts are cheaper. Everything's cheaper on these old trucks. Uh, and they're a hell of a lot more reliable. So, you know, each to his own. Get a new engine, get an old engine. But if, if you think, you know, fuel mileage is an issue, new versus old, I'm here to tell you, the fuel mileage is not that different. Now, if you go old to where you're like talking like a 3406B model cab that's mechanical, <laughs> yeah, there's a big difference there. But as long as you've got a first generation electronic like the 12.7 Series 60 Detroit, uh, the Cummins in N14 Select or N14 Select Plus, uh, you know, the red-headed Cummins, black motor redheads, uh, red uh, valve covers, uh, or the uh, Caterpillar 3406E, those are all first generation electronics. Those, those you can program those ECMs to put out maximum horsepower, and then you drive it like a regular truck, even because you've got the right tune on that ECM, you will get phenomenal fuel mileage out of those engines, and they're incredibly reliable. Uh, but yeah, as far as fuel savings, you always hear the you know the guys out there saying, I'm getting 7.4, and I'm getting 7.5, I don't know how the hell they're driving. They got somebody huffing and puffing and pushing them down the road. I don't know how the hell they're doing it, but I've never been able to get any kind of fuel mileage like that out of any engine. Uh, of course, you know, I I drive my trucks. You know, when I'm going through the gears, I'm in full torque going through the gears to get her down the road. You know, I, I, I drive a different way. Maybe, maybe they're doing the light progressive shifting and, you know, babying it up to speed. And I ain't got time for that. I got places to go. I got a load delivered. Grab another one and keep on hammering, you know. Uh, at the end of the day, I turn more loads. Yeah, I may get a little worse fuel mileage because I drive like a raped ape. But, you know, <laughs> at the end of the day, I still make more money. <laughs> and, and the beast can handle it. But, uh, yeah, I just want to throw that quick video out there. A newer engine, you know, there, there's all kinds of myths. But the, the one thing I can tell you for an ironclad fact, and you talk to any owner-operator who has a newer truck with that def, and they'll tell you how much of a pain in the butt that def is and how expensive it is to try to keep that engine on the road without cutting your power and 
because every time it, it throws up a code, you got to go to a shop, plug it into a computer. That's $130 an hour. Most shops have an hour to an hour and a half minimum just to plug that truck in. You know, they got a, a, a certain fee that they charge just to plug it in. And they're not just going to clear a code and turn you loose. Oh, well, you got to fix this, whatever, or the code's just going to come back, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no, the hell with them codes. You know, I like these old engines. If I see a light on my dash, I get nervous because that means something's gone seriously wrong. It, you know, about the only lights you ever see is uh, uh, low water level or, uh, you know, hot, hot engine temp. You know, they just... The, the, these engines just run, man. They're good old engines. Uh, but yeah, quick video. Just wanted to throw it out there. Uh, you guys know the deal. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, any more questions, keep them questions coming, man. I'm more than happy to answer them. That's the whole reason I do this channel. So, uh, yeah, we'll talk to you all later.